Hello and welcome to Lesson 2 of the Pattern Design School here at Free For All Scroll Saw Patterns. I'm Scrollzilla and you're not. Now before we get too far into Lesson 2, uh, we had a couple questions from le Lesson 1 I'd like to cover. The first one was, how do we turn this screen landscape? Really easy once you know how. All you have to do is click on File, Document Properties, And right here, you'll see where you can select the orientation. Just click Landscape. Now, there's one other function I want to show you, and go ahead and get used to it. Let's change the default units from pixels to inches. Once you have that done, just go ahead and uh, click the little X and close the screen. So now you can see our orientation is Landscape, and now the rulers up here are marked in inches. And that's going to come in uh, more important. Uh, later in lesson two. Now the other big question was when we do our homework assignments how do we export these out or save them in a format that we can upload them to the site easily. All you have to do again is click on file, export bitmap, and one thing is go ahead and make sure you have the, whole, the page selected right here that way whatever's in here you're going to export. Um, give it a file name and it should default to the last directory we worked in and then once you do that hit export it'll automatically give it the file extension PNG and that is a format we can use to upload to the site so on to lesson two uh, today we'll be talking uh, about word art and working with text and we may even incorporate some of the stuff from lesson one. So a lot of this uh, may be redundant, but as we go through these features, the more we use them, the more comfortable you'll be with them, and before long it'll be second nature for you. <clears throat> so since we're talking about working with text, let's go ahead and select the text tool. Now once you do that, up here it's going to give you your font and the font size of what you used last time. Now, I chose this particular font because it's fat, I like it. Now, if you don't have one, you can click the drop down and it's going to give you an indication of what it looks like. So, for right now, <clears throat> and the font size, we're going to be uh, manipulating the font size so it really doesn't matter. Just give ourselves a size where we can see the font really easy. Now typically working with word art, we're going to have everything with caps locks on. So let's go ahead and type the word wolf. Uh, we're going to grab the object selector and we're going to make this a lot bigger just so we can see it easily and zoom in a little bit more. <clears throat> so if we're doing, depending on what we're doing, if this is going to be a name tag for Bobby or Sue, and it's not going to work because of all the spaces. Well, Inkscape gives us a tool to break apart the letters. All you have to do is, with the whole word selected, come up here to Extensions, select Text, and down here we have Split Text. So go ahead and click on that. Now once you get here, um, if you only have one word, then you can just, uh, where it says Split, select Letters. Now, if you have multiple words, uh, welcome to our home. Um, Inkscape is going to treat that as one big text object. So what we could do is in this drop down, select words. And what that will do for us is it will break each word down into a separate object. And then you could select that object and split the letters. Uh, it's all personal preference of what, how you wish to work with it. So for right now, we'll split letters, we'll click Apply, Inkscape's going to do its thing here, and as soon as it's done, just click Close. Now you can see each object is its own object, uh, each letter is a, its own object. So now, we're going to drag these over. And of course, we're not going to really too, we're not going to care too much about the alignment. Why? 
because we have a great tool called Align and Distribute. So once we call that up, we're going to align by the bottom edges, look sharp. Now for simplicity's sake, I want to just have an outline so we can really see what we're doing here. So here in the bottom left, we have Stroke and Fill. So if we right click here where it says None, for the stroke, we will click Black. And that's really the outline of it. Now we show a fill of black. If you right click on it and select White, we now have a good outline of our word. But it's still going to be really hard to work with this as it is as four separate objects. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on Path and Union. Now once we do that, you can see we've actually joined everywhere where the letters overlapped. And so now we have one big object and it's the word wolf.